Well, Ollie, three goals already this season for you. How happy have you been with your start to the season? Yeah, it's been a good start. Uh, the first goal is always the hardest to get. Um, it's nice to be a part of you know winning side. Obviously, we had a, a little bit of a blip on Saturday, but um, I'm looking forward to this Saturday against Nottingham Forest, and hopefully, we can get three points. How important is it to make sure that last Saturday was just a blip? Yeah, obviously we had a. It was a tough week, you know, three games in uh, quick succession. But um, you know, fair play to Blackburn. They they got their uh, their plan right, and um, don't think we were on it that that day. But uh, we've got to make sure we are on, on Saturday. I mean, other, other than last Saturday, how pleased and the cup one as well? How pleased have you, has the group been with the start so far? Yeah, I think it's good. You know, last season we we had a poor start to the season, so um, it was vital we had a you know a positive start to this season and um, you know got the wins that we needed. So hopefully it's um, only upwards from here. How how much was a fast start talked about before before the season got underway? Uh, I don't think it was talked about as much. Um, I think just everyone knew what we had to do really um, with a you know positive finished to the end of last season, um, it kind of gave us a bit of momentum uh, this year to, to you know, push push on. And Saturday sees a game at home against Nottingham Forest, another side who started quite brightly and had a, a very good win last night in the, the Carabao Cup as well. Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, I think the other night it could have been more than it was, but a win's a win and uh, through to the next round, so we'll see who we have to get. And obviously for, for Forrest as well, a, a tough test. Yeah, um, I think every game's a, a tough test in the championship, but with the way we play, and especially at Griffin Park, it's not an easy place to come. So um, going into every game, I'm sure the lads all feel confident that um, we can get three points. I mean, how, how confident are you? I say home games. It's, it's three straight wins this season, eight unbeaten. Does it, you know, knowing you're at home on the Saturday, does just that give you that little bit, little bit extra? Yeah, I think going into it, every game, you know, even Stoke away was a big game. Villa, uh, we feel confident um, with the type of football we play, and we always create chances. So you know, it's just down to us to, you know, be clinical and and put them away really. And obviously, Saturday's game against Forest sort of shows. Brentford against the Championship away the way that Forest have spent money in the summer and, and as opposed to how we do it so it's sort of like the story of you know, the story of the Championship almost in a way Yeah there's always going to be teams that spend a lot of money so you know you've got to come against that but we've got quality in our squad so they don't have any better players than, than we do um, so yeah it's, it'll be uh, down to who wins on Saturday I guess and you obviously played a bit through the middle on last Saturday at Blackburn. I've done it a, a bit before. What are you, is that something you're really working on? Is that somewhere you see perhaps moving on in the future? You know, it's a, it is a, I have played there before. Um, I'm happy to play where, wherever for the team. But um, yeah, I do see myself playing wide, maybe coming in. But then um, obviously Neil's out, so we'll, we'll have to see if if I play there but if, if I do then um, I'm happy to play there for the team and obviously the, the loan window shuts tomorrow but the, the permanent window shut a couple of weeks ago there was talk and stories about, about yourself are you someone that, that listens to any of that or is that just you know, I'm going to focus on what happens on the pitch and leave that to that yeah obviously it's nice it means you're doing something right but just take it into, into my stride and not focus too much on that because you can your game can get disrupted a bit, so you know um, it's all paper talk really. So just move on. And obviously, last you know you're a year into your time in the in the championship now, and you had a, a fast start last year. How important will consistency be for for you this year? And, and how far do you think you've come from where you were twelve months ago? Uh, yeah, consistency is going to be a big thing. Um, I think the fact that you know I did jump two leagues. But then I, I got off to a good start. So then when I kind of slowed up, everyone was a bit like, well, you know, what's happened to him? But um, I was still adapting and I still am, you know, to the championship. So I think, yeah, like I said, people forget that I jumped from League Two. Um, so I'm hoping just be more consistent this year and, you know, 
if I do uh, if I don't score as much as I'd like to, just keep the the ratio down and maybe get one in three or rather than one in five six. So yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, Ollie, uh, a number of young players about your age coming to the club now in the belief that this is the best place to develop the game. Can you kind of sum up what coming to Brentford has meant for you? Um, it's a team that is looked down on, I think, in the in the Championship, but um, people are starting to realise how how good a team we are and the type of football we play. Um, and I think it's probably the best place to develop as a young player. And why do you think that is? What what's different or special about this place? Just look at there's no egos. Um, there's a lot. There's good staff. A lot of hungry people in and around the place who want to push on and further their career. Um, and I just think the type of football we play is is um, enjoyable to play as in the team and, you know, as a spectator to watch. A couple of times you get the feeling this season and, and the end of last season that when you know, Brentford really need a goal, everyone's always looking to you to do it. Is that, a, is that a pressure you welcome? I don't think they look for me. I just think they look around for everyone to, um, for a, a spark, wherever it might be. Um, you know, I like to think as an attacking player, hopefully I could bring that to the team, I'm sure most of the other attackers do as well. So it's not just me, um, but I like to hope they do think that. Okay, after this week's game, there's going to be an international break, and then it's pretty relentless after that. You know, often two games a week, right up till Christmas. Uh, for somebody who likes to play, but how do you look at that and think you're going to pace yourself, or are you? Uh, you know, what's the best way of you getting through that period successfully? Uh, you know, obviously rest up, but use the rest time wisely because obviously we've got uh, a lot of games in quick succession coming up. So um, it is a rest, but only for a short period. So you can't rest as in like I do in the summer.